Okay, before we get into this week two review for Colorado Buffaloes and the uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers, I want to ask y'all a question. Is Colorado the poor man's USC? Hey, I heard somebody kind of refer to Colorado and now they are eerie similar to USC. Now y'all tell me what you think about it. Holla at me. Now let's get to this review. Welcome to Raw High Media for you. Remember, you may be a visitor, but never a stranger over here at Raw High Media. So what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to get on this in week two. I guess, yeah, in week two, talking about Nebraska versus Colorado and uh, those expectations from the game, what may come up. Basically, guys, we're going to do the pregame show here. First and foremost, I'll begin by saying, I know we're all excited about the victory against TCU. I think we should temper our expectations because this Nebraska game is going to be a very scary game. Honestly, I, I think it's a toss-up at this point. You got both universities, Colorado and Nebraska, breaking in new head coaches this year. And we all know uh, Coach Prime is Colorado's coach and Nebraska, they obtained uh, Matt Rule in his first season. And let's not get it twisted. He didn't do very well at Carolina in the NFL, but he's a pretty good college football coach. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to win and build a program. I'll say this, Nebraska, they last game, they played against Minnesota. They lost that game 10 to 13. And I think what happens here is uh, the week one, uh, just as we want to look at Colorado and look at their deficiencies and say we can improve on those things, uh, Nebraska is saying the same thing about their their school and their team. Their starting quarterback, Jeff Sims, he was 11 of 19 for 114 yards. He had one touchdown, but he threw three picks. We've been on him throwing three picks to win the ball game, then that ain't a good bet. You feel what I'm saying? I am looking for him to improve his game, cut down on those turnovers. Uh, Jeff Sims also a dynamic dual threat quarterback. He likes to run uh, against Minnesota. He had 19 carries. Yeah, he was a leading uh, total for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. But he had all, uh, 19 carries for 91 yards. That's what Colorado needs to be worried about. Nebraska and running the ball and that quarterback getting out of the pocket and making moves. As you said, as I said before, he didn't throw for very many yards. So their receiver core. Uh, Alex Bullock, he was the leading receiver of that game. He had 56 yards, uh, three receptions, 56 yards. A gentleman by the name of Marcus Robinson was second, three receptions at 31 yards. But again, Jeff Sims only threw the ball for 114 yards. Philosophically, how does Matt Rule want to play the game? He want to play a hard nose and run it down your throat type of football. Unfortunately, we know that's Colorado's Achilles heel. They tend to have a difficult time in stopping the run. You know, a lot of people want to talk about Colorado's defensive line. It wasn't a defensive line problem. It was the linebackers. The linebackers didn't show up. If Colorado doesn't change something philosophically, because I don't believe that the linebackers are going to get that much better. And I hadn't heard anything about DeMore Kennedy or Brendan Grant. Now, Brendan Grant is a safety, 6'2", 208, so he can play in the box. I hadn't heard anything about those guys, whether they're going to play or not, get any time or see it, you know. I don't know what's going on with those guys. So I can only go on what they showed last game. And uh, those linebackers, they fell short, you know, miss, miss assignments. I say this, if Colorado defense was off the chain like the offense, then we'd be talking about a national championship. So teams tend to have deficiencies, you know. You rarely find a team that's good in all three phases of the game. So I was having a conversation with with someone and we Nebraska running the ball and you know my stance is they can just run it down Colorado's throat and win the ball game they made the uh comment that you can't run it the whole game you know I I would beg to differ you know ask Bill Belichick when they played Buffalo Bills what they, I think they either threw two he only threw it threw it two times or only had two completions and beat the Bills you can't design a scheme where passing the ball is minimal in your game if you can't stop the run I mean, you got to, I mean, it's akin to this. Think about this for a second. When you're running the ball effectively, now understand that the new rules in college football is they have a running clock. So when you run the ball effectively, you know, ground and pound, you can have eight minute, nine minute drives, score. You know, in this hypothetical, let's say they score. Colorado gets the ball back. They can either score or they don't. Let's say they don't. They won't see the ball again until the next quarter, typically speaking. You all are hip to the game. I'm sure you've seen <laughs> games where, People who ground and pound ate the clock up for an entire quarter. I've seen that. So what it does is it keeps the offense off the field. If the offense ain't on the field, you can't score. Now it's just, it's applying that much more pressure for you to put points on the board. Now, hey, not stopping the run, man, that's scary. I, I, I will say it's scary. Now, 
Colorado can come in here and blow them out and everything that I'm saying is uh, foolish and it, and it don't apply. But guys, if you watched that first game, that that was not a good showing. And granted, it was the first game and uh, maybe they make some uh, some schematic changes if you listen to uh, my post game show that I did, Colorado and TCU. If Nebraska can't throw the ball, put your three linebackers on there, man. You know, put seven in the box and, and, and force them to pass the ball. I just, that bothers me. I am really, really concerned about that, them stopping the run. I was even concerned about them stopping the run before they even played the game. We all know that this team is going to be led by, and this team as the Colorado Buffalo is going to be led by Shadur Sanders, Hunter, Dylan Edwards, Xavier Weaver, and Jimmy Horn. You know, whenever Alton McCaskill gets back, then he will also help carry the load. But we know that those four gentlemen, five gentlemen, those guys are who's going to have to carry the load Colorado to be successful this season, more so on Shador's shoulders than the others. I'll say this, I love the fact that Shador takes what the defense gives him. If he continues to, to do that, take the easy throws. I must say, take the easy throws. Take what the defense gives you. So many times I've, I've seen quarterbacks, and I hate to harp on this, but I've seen quarterbacks just make bad decisions. Bro, just throw it to the open guy and forget about trying to make big plays, spectacular. keep the chains moving. As a matter of fact, I kind of liked how Colorado kind of slowed it down. If you all know, it seemed like they slowed it down a little bit later on in the game. I kind of like that. Now, they got up. Got in position pretty quick. You know, they kind of held him there. Now, I've heard offensive linemen don't like that. You know, that's but that's a whole other story. But I, I did like how they wasn't always, you know, blow and go. Sometimes, you know, they, they, they added some pace to it. You know, I heard Shaquille O'Neal tell Westbrook one time, if you always run, running full speed, you ain't fast. You got to throw some variations in that. And I'm par paraphrasing. You got to throw some variations in that. Anyway, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I liked what I saw from uh, – Colorado from an offensive standpoint, but again, I've always been con I've been ultra confident in Shadur Sanders. I know you've all heard me say it before. I think he's the second best quarterback in college football, hands down, second best quarterback. You know, special teams was embarrassing, and I'm sure that they worked on that because special team is about assignment, doing things right, being repetitive. It's almost like shooting free throws. Do the same thing every time. You get off kilter a little bit, you get what you saw again, uh, Colorado versus TCU from the special team standpoint. A lot of people talking about kicking the ball on uh, kickoffs, kicking it through the, end, through the end zone. Now, some coaches, I do not know if that's what they're teaching, but some coaches like for their kickoff, kick it high and maybe not necessarily get it in the end zone. So what you want, to, what you want is you want that guy to have to feel that, feel that kickoff and then he typically returns it. But the higher, obviously, hang time for your special team guys can get down there and make a tackle and they're not necessarily getting the ball on the 25. I think that's I think that's more so what they were doing that previous game, trying to kick it high, hang time, get the guys down there to make a tackle. That being said, guys, you know that's my take on it. Nebraska versus uh, Colorado. I think Colorado needs to be worried about getting that run stop because if they don't, they could easily win this, easily win that ball game. Let's not forget if TCU probably had to hand that ball off a few more times, especially. Hey, when they were down there and Travis Hunter got that pick, handed the ball off a few more times, they probably would have scored. And the game may have ended a little bit different. Anyway, guys, give me your thoughts and feelings on the game. Uh, get in my comments and holler at me. Tell me what you think about this game and uh, what problems or issues you see with it. What Colorado needs to do better. What, you know what I'm saying? Uh, tell me who y'all think other than Shadour and the breakout guys who had a good game. But basically, the guys who broke out last game, Guys, who you, what sleepers that you got and you're thinking about, you know what I'm saying, that's going to get in where they fit in and show out. So, it's your boy, Rawhide Media. Remember, I don't present information, guys. I just want to have a conversation.